Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and it's been a little while since we got some updated titles for upcoming episodes of Pokemon Horizons. And we got some new titles here, and oh boy is it spicy. Now we don't have summaries just for context. We don't have summaries, but yeah, I'm absolutely going to be talking about it because we got something uh, major happening in episode 23. Just uh, prepare yourselves. But yeah, let's talk about it. Now, real quick before we get to the discussion, I just want to say if you're someone that's brand new to the channel, you're just discovering this channel for the first time, and you like this type of content, it'd be pretty cool if you would subscribe to the channel, like the video, and all that good stuff. I cover the Pokemon Horizon series, whether I make videos like this, I do live streams uh, with Pokemon Horizons, usually on Fridays or Saturdays or even Sundays, where we where I talk about the episode with viewers, and then we assign a rating for the episode. I also do some live streams of video games on the channel as well, usually on Mondays and Wednesdays, and sometimes Fridays. And yeah, you should uh, totally hit that subscribe button. It'd be pretty awesome if you would do that. Now, Pokemon Horizons Episode 23 airs on September 22nd, and is titled, Galar Fire Blazes Up. Now, this is what Cerebi is translated or at least put out for the episode title. On Twitter, Griffin, uh, someone who is a reliable source, by the way, uh, lists the episode as uh, the Burning Up Galarian Moltres. And then we'll get on to episode 24 shortly after that. But, uh, yeah! Galarian Moltres, of all Pokemon, is debuting in episode 23, or even at the end of episode 22, of Pokemon Horizons. And my goodness... I did not see this coming from a mile away. I didn't think we were going to be fighting like one of the Galarian legendary birds. Like, during this Galarian arc. This is actually crazy. <laughs> you know, I was expecting this to happen, like, if we went to, like, Crown Tundra or Isle of Armor or something like that. But not in this Galarian mine. That's actually pretty crazy. So... Gotta give it to Pokemon Horizons. I definitely didn't see this one coming, and I'm genuinely excited for this episode and a little worried, and I'll get into that in just a moment. Now, on one hand, I'm genuinely excited for this episode. This was totally unexpected, and I think that this is pretty cool. We're getting a raid battle, which, obviously, we had raid battles in the prior series, but getting one here, it makes sense. We're in the Gala region. It was probably bound to happen at some point. So it's nice to see Liko and Roy getting some experience here fighting a raid Pokemon. So that's cool. And not to mention it's one of the Galarian birds that we never saw in the prior series. I don't know if we're going to see the other two at some point, but that's cool. That is really cool. And I really like this. That makes me super excited for this episode. But on the other hand, I'm also kind of worried and a little nervous here. Because, uh, Liko and Roy? They ain't, they ain't ready to take on a Galarian Moltres. Not at this point. Maybe in like 70 episodes, but... Right now? Where they're at? No. No way. Spiridito and Foycoco, you know, are still pretty inexperienced. They're gaining experience, but they still got a while to go before they take on a legendary Pokemon. So... I'm a little worried that they're going to either be taken out super early, so it's just like, okay, you know, there goes the hype. <laughs> but I'm also equally worried that they're actually going to last a decent while. And the reason why that I'm a little worried about that is because in the prior series, we had Ash go, Tokyo, and Gary go up against a regular Articuno in an Articuno raid, and they had the floor wiped with them. I mean, this Articuno was busted. And if Foycoco and Spiridito actually last a good while, it's going to make a Galarian, this Galarian Moltres look kind of weak in comparison. But besides that, we also have Freed that's going to be participating. I doubt that Amethio is going to be helping out here. I think it's probably going to be Charizard and Captain Pikachu that are going to be battling alongside uh, Foycoco and Spiridito. And they're going to be the ones that are probably going to be carrying this match. Especially probably Captain Pikachu, as Captain Pikachu can actually deal some effective damage against it. 
But at the same time, I'm a little concerned. It's definitely going to be a up to Freed, I'd say. He's probably going to be the one carrying the whole uh, raid battle here. So I'm a little concerned at how this is going to be handled. Considering how the uh, Articrono raid went in the prior series. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just a little skeptical as to how this is going to turn out. I hope that this is written in a way that makes sense for everybody. But at the same time, I'm just a little worried that uh, the execution is not going to be great here. So hopefully I'm wrong, and hopefully this ends up being a great battle. But we'll see what happens when this episode airs on September 22nd. Now, as of the recording of this video, Serbi hasn't updated episode 24. They currently have it at October 6th. But based on what Griffin is saying on Twitter... We are going to be getting a two-week break, so there won't be an episode on September 29th or October 6th. So, episode 24 of Pokemon Horizons will air on October 13th. And per Griffin, it is titled, Reunion at the Old Castle. Oh, boy. Okay, this episode is pretty self-explanatory. We don't have a summary yet. And there's not really a whole lot to talk about, but it's pretty clear that uh, this episode is where Liko's going to reunite with her grandma. We're more than likely going to get some information on the pendant. And maybe we get to know how Liko's grandma came into possession of this pendant. And what exactly is going on and why the explorers are pursuing it. It's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens in this episode. And maybe we'll learn where we're going next, because I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the end of the Galar arc. We're probably going to be going to the next region next, which could potentially be Alola, but that's to be seen. So, I guess in the comment section down below, what do you think is going to be happening in this episode in particular? Do you think we're going to get some information on the Pendant? Do you think we're going to meet another gym leader? Since uh, Galarian Moltres was unexpected, do you think there's going to be something unexpected happening in this episode as well? I'd like to hear your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. But anyways, uh, look forward to this episode when it airs on October 13th. Alrighty guys, that's all I got for this video. So in the comment section down below, I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about these upcoming episodes? Which one are you more excited for? I think both of these episodes are exciting for different reasons. It's all about the execution though. Especially the Galarian Moltres episode. I'm both excited and concerned about that one, and I'm very interested to see what Liko's grandma is going to be like and what information we're going to learn about the pendant. So yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's all I got for this video, so... Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're new to the channel. And have a good day or night, Riverette, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! Actually, that's not the right bye. Here's the right bye. Bye!